13 inch macbook air retina model a1932 years 2018 and 2019 screen assembly replacement make sure that the macbook is completely shut down and flip it over we're going to need a proprietary apple's star-shaped pentalope screwdriver bit the back cover is secured with 10 pentalope screws the top four are slightly different and the rest of the six are short Go ahead and remove them and set them in a line so that you remember where they go. Once the screws are removed, lift up the MacBook. We'll need to pry apart the cover. It's clipped in, so with just a little bit of resistance, you should be able to pop it right off. Before we proceed, we need to pull the power on the battery. Go ahead and locate the battery connection, and with a plastic tool, gently pry in and push it out of its socket. With a T4 screwdriver, we'll need to remove the two T4 screws that are guarding the bracket that holds down the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna cables. Go ahead and pry underneath the cables and just pop them out of their sockets. Next, we'll need to remove four uh, T5 screws that are holding down the uh, rail for the screen. This is a rail bracket that runs across the entire unit. There are four screws, two on each side. They're long. With the T4 screwdriver, we need to remove the bracket that is guarding the actual screen to the logic board cable. Go ahead and remove the two T4 screws and then pop that out. Now to the right and to the left of it, there are two T5 screws that are holding down that entire rail system in that little pocket. With everything loose, you can just go ahead and lift up that entire rail. Stand the MacBook up like a teepee and remove the six T8 screws, three on each hinge. Removing these six screws will allow you to separate the MacBook from the screen. There you go. Reassembly. Align the screen assembly with the MacBook body. Make sure that the hinges are in the correct position and you can just kind of adjust them and press them down. Put in one screw on each side so that you can begin to work on it without having to hold it. Stand it back up as a teepee and put back the remaining screws. All six. Now go ahead and adjust that little rail system and then clip it into place. And then close the unit up and put it down. Push that little uh, system in and go ahead and reapply the two T5 screws that are holding it in. With those in, go ahead and put back the four T5 screws that are holding the rail together, two on each side. Go ahead and click, clip in the logic board to the screen cable. Put back that little bracket and resecure it with the two T4 screws. Now we need to click back the uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antenna cables. That's going to be fun. Always takes uh, a few minutes to get that in. Once that's in, go ahead and place back the bracket and place back the two T4 screws securing the bracket. Reconnect the battery power cable to the logic board by sliding it into its socket. Put back the cover and give it a nice firm push when you have it aligned so that it clicks in. Go ahead and put back the four screws. As you can see, the longest two go in the center, and then the other ones go in each corner. 
and then the shorter screws all go around the remainder of the contour of the mat. This concludes the tutorial. Help support our content by subscribing.